My room's a mess. We don't have to talk about it. Seriously, don't be rude. Hi, second channel. Life, quite frankly, recently has been weird as shit. Not bad, but a little bit frustrating. Uh, we are still living in unprecedented times, which sucks ass, because I just want to grab life by the balls, and I never can. So let's talk about it a little bit. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to talk about this, but let's take a little risk. Take a risk, take a chance, break away. I don't get opportunities that often for collabs, for events, for blah, 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 blah. So my surprise, I get two lined up. I said yes to both of them, and then eventually I had to retract my yes. Uh, thankfully, before contracts were signed or anything. One was a uh, sponsorship, and I learned a little bit more about the company. And I was like, I gotta, I, I'm, mm, no thanks, actually. And they were kind of sad about that, and I felt bad. And the second thing, I'll just speak about this candidly. I was supposed to go to the Barbie premiere next week. And I was so fucking excited. And then, you know, the, the union strike got even bigger. And if I ever want to join the union, I can't cross uh, the picket line. So that fucking sucks. And I'm trying not to be a whiny bitch about it because obviously workers protesting is a good thing. It's not a good thing that they have to, but it's a good thing that they're putting their foot down because it's like enough is enough. Enough is a fucking enough. If you don't have actors, if you don't have writers, you don't have anything. If you don't have either of those groups, you don't have anything, but both, you're fucked. Like you could say you, you can replace them with AI all you want, but everything's gonna end up being shit. Like no one is going to watch your movies, your TV shows, your, your what have you. I personally thought that going to the premiere would be fine because the movie was already made, but apparently not. I thought that was more a thing for the big name actors. Like I wasn't expecting Margot Robbie to be there or, or Ryan Gosling. But me, that that's a big deal if I were to go. No one knows who the fuck I am. It's for good reason. I just wish the timing was different. Very selfishly. Very selfishly. I know that makes me sound like a fucking huge, um, big headed butt face. But you know, I don't have a therapist right now. So I'm just, I'm just being real. I emailed the people that invited me. I literally signed off the email, not with sincerely, not with love, with screaming, crying, throwing up. Cause I am. Not only that, I have two TikTok accounts impersonating me and I'm reporting it to TikTok and TikTok's like, yeah, we don't see anything wrong with it. Are you sure that's you? Yeah, I'm sure that's me. They're taking my fucking videos, dude. So that, that's one thing. Then that, I feel like there was something else I needed to rant about. Oh, just me being awkward. Just me being awkward. I'm trying to take more collab opportunities from fellow YouTubers. And throughout the years, I have reached out to people, probably not in, in the best way. And I was rereading a DM. I was like, maybe I could unsend it before she sees it. Uh, this was from last year to somebody on TikTok. And I should have checked because it said seen. There was no reply there. So I just came off way too strong, way too strong. So I've just been like, my base level anxiety is through the fucking roof through the roof and i know it's not that big of a deal like i could still wear a cute outfit next week and go to my favorite donut place <laughs> that's moving to new jersey <laughs> okay it's fine everything's gonna be okay because it has to be none of these instances are a super huge deal it's just i'm bad at rewiring my brain and like readjusting because when i get excited about something and then it doesn't come to fruition it's like it's a big adjustment for me. It's a big like, okay, we have to shift the gears. And the, the gears are still shifting. And like, I have to convince myself that these aren't the last opportunities I'll ever get. Plus, I want to stay authentic to me. I want to make sure that I'm putting my best foot forward in everything I do. And no one said that that would be easy because most corporations are very evil. And I am an entertainer. I want to entertain. I want to be a little clown honk honk. But that doesn't mean that I should just, I don't know, be the face of these products that I don't know what the fuck they are. And I'm sure along the way, maybe I'll, I'll take a, a misstep and I'll readjust. But luckily, I was able to catch the mistakes before they were made this time around. As much as it sucked. Saying no to the Barbie premiere was... <laughs> Dude, I'm so upset. I'm really excited to get more mail on Monday. Hopefully, there's enough to make another little video because you guys have been really lifting me up a lot. I shouldn't lean on you guys uh, too heavily, but I gotta say, you put a real smile on my face. I really appreciate it. If anyone's even listening to this, this is like very rambly, but that's the nature of the second channel. You know what I mean? Oh my God, wait. Hand puppet, but it's, um, but it's a mirror on the play button. That also, honestly, you'd think the novelty of that would wear off quickly. I, st I just, I just stare at it sometimes. I love her. <gasps> Should we name her? You can comment that too if you want. Okay, bye.